When we talk about gracing stages, when we're talking about a soap specifically, it's an everyday thing. And when you're a part of a daily soap, not only do you invest hugely in your cast and your crew, they become family, but also you become a part of your viewers' family. So when one of those lead actresses chooses to bow out, it's a major thing. Well, today we say goodbye to one of the Deep's major stars. Homozo Christopher is bowing out in style, and Tenji sat down with her to find out what's next for this incredibly talented actress. It's been quite a journey for actress Homozo Christopher with her Isidingo character Katle Hosibeko, and fans were shocked when Homozo announced that she would be leaving the show. I see you haven't brought drinks as you usually would have. Well, I do that only for guests who have announced themselves. <laughs> Welcome to my humble abode. <laughs> well, this is not going to be your humble abode for much longer, at least on screen. Can you tell us more about your decision to leave Isidingo after five glorious years? The decision was really about um, my um, chance to grow. You've had five amazing years and five amazing years that have developed you as an actress and you feel it's time to see what these skills that I've honed can do outside of here. Most people don't know that I have a background in theatre. In fact, my training is, is on stage and I've not been able to do that in South Africa. I would love to do a film and I, I'm hoping the first film I ever do in my life is a proudly South African film. So it's really just having my sights on everything. Nothing specific but knowing I'm going to be saying yes to everything. The writing team has been hard at work to give Katlejo a worthy exit but where the show goes from here will be up to the recently promoted executive producer Rowan Dixon. When Komoza told her she was leaving it was pretty devastating. She's a very important part of the show and has been for a while. She's a very vivid and, and powerful character that the audience has engaged with strongly. So we would not be doing our jobs properly if we didn't use Katlejo's exit to its fullest. I would say that the audience has got to keep watching, they've got to see how we do it. Um, it's definitely something worth watching and make sure that the world is changed when she leaves it and it's changed forever. So we've seen your character go through some highs and some lows. For all your on-screen storylines, which one stands out the most? I enjoyed the surrogacy storyline, um, very, very um, different, had never been done certainly um, on Isidengo. I enjoyed the um, abuse storyline with Jefferson, obviously because of um, the serious nature of the storyline, especially around the 16 days of activism. And then I think certainly the viewers would agree that whole Calvin, five-year Calvin affair. <laughs> what are you going to miss about being here at Isidengo? It's an amazing opportunity to be part of that type of historical show that's been in South Africa for so long. It's, it's a home for all of us as artists. We, we do it as part of our work, as part of our craft, as actors, but um, through working together, we do become friends, and they are friends for life. So I miss that. The show has such a history and a, a legacy and a viewership. So it's a balancing act. You don't want to change too much. Uh, you don't want to become too radical but you also very much want to freshen it up and, and make it relevant and contemporary and modern for, for 2016. So it's a massive challenge. I'm very excited about it. Um, we've got an amazing team here, all invested in a vision for the show going forward. Homozo's grace and charm will be missed by the cast, crew and fans alike. To see her final performance, don't miss Isidingo tonight at 7pm on SABC3.